Hello beautiful people how are you guys doing hope everybody is doing amazingly well welcome back to another lesson of english with ashish and guys today in this lesson we are going to master what personal pronouns are in different types of personal pronouns i'm excited very excited i know you guys are too let's do it All right everybody now let's understand what a personal pronoun is now before we understand that let's just quickly understand what a pronoun is what is it what is a pronoun guys a pronoun is a word that replaces a noun pro noun a word used in place of a noun that replaces a noun that's why it is called pronoun now what is a personal pronoun look at the word personal a word that is used in place of a name of a person that replaces a name of a person a personal pronoun is a word that replaces a name of a person all right that replaces a noun what kind of a noun a name of a person what is a noun a name a name of a person personal that's what a personal pronoun is now in english there are three types of persons what these three types of persons are we'll talk about them before that let's just understand why we use personal pronouns it's important isn't it we should know why to use personal pronouns okay so i'm going to give you an example and i'll try to make you understand why we use personal pronouns okay so uh, we got some boys on the screen john max monu and this is your friend ashish so last night something happened john max monu and ashish went to a party john max monu and ashish together went to a party john max monu and ashish ordered some drinks John, Max, Monu, and Ashish were really enjoying the party. John, Max, Monu, and Ashish. Okay, stop, Ashish. This is getting really irritating. Now, when I use these people's names over and over again, this is creating a repetition, right? And it sounds very odd when you do it. When you uh, take somebody's name over and over again, instead of using a pronoun uh, for that person's name, when you uh, say that name over and over again, it sounds really odd. and it creates a repetition which uh, you shouldn't do so i can say um, john max monu and ashish which is me john max monu and i went to a party we ordered some drinks we were really enjoying the party we did this we did that things like that we is a personal pronoun okay one more scenario uh, this is ashish this is my class this is uh, me on the very first day of the job okay i address the class i go focus My name is Ashish and Ashish is your new English teacher and Ashish knows that uh this is Mr A this is Mr B this is Mr C this is Mr D E F and Ashish wants Mr A Mr B Mr C Mr D Mr E Mr F to be really respectful towards Ashish and Ashish also wants Mr A Mr okay again this is getting repetitive right i'm using these people's names over and over again instead of using a pronoun i'm using these people's names over and over again instead of taking my own name i can say i i want you instead of taking these people's name i can address them as you a personal pronoun i want you to be attentive i want you to be on time okay That's why we use personal pronouns to eliminate this repetition. All right, now you know why we use personal pronouns. Okay, let's look at different types of persons in English. We have three types of persons in English. Number one, first person. Second, second person. Third, third person. Okay, what is a first person? A first person is a person or a group of people that are speaking. A first person is the person. who is speaking at the moment right now i am speaking to you i am the first person i am the first person because i am the person who is speaking at the moment it could be just one person or a group of people that are speaking as one group as one unit okay what is the second person the second person is the person or a group of people the first person is speaking with or speaking to the second person is the person the first person is speaking with is sharing the information with 
is sharing the details with right is communicating with now what is the third person the third person is the person whom both the first person and the second person are talking about the third person is the person can be just one person one guy or maybe more than one person whom both the first person first person and the second person are talking about now understand this the third person may or may not be present where the first and second person are communicating if the third person is present there even in that case the first person is not directly sharing the details with the third person the first person is talking to the second person though the third person is right there but the first person is not directly communicating or talking to the third person okay now let's understand what comes in these persons and how to use them in sentences in the first person we have two pronouns i and v i and v and these are subjective pronoun every personal pronoun can be used in three ways as the subject of the sentence uh known as subjective pronoun or nominative pronoun also called subject pronoun second as the object of a verb or the object of a preposition called objective pronoun or accusative pronoun third possessive pronoun so i becomes me in the objective case as an objective pronoun and mine as a possessive pronoun v in v you are also a part of the group v you say v when you are a part of the group as well so we subjective us objective ours possessive uh, these are first person pronouns in the second person we just have you so uh, you is the subjective pronoun and the objective remains you it doesn't change in the possessive it changes to yours now understand you can be just one person you i'm talking to you rahul just one person or you can refer to a group of people you guys are amazing you so you can refer to just one person or a group of people uh you will understand this by the context all right so in second person we just have one pronoun you subjective you objective and yours possessive in the third person we have four pronouns he uh um, he is used to refer to a name of a person who is a male all right he subjective him objective and his possessive she refers to a name of a lady she subjective her objective hers possessive it it is used to refer to a name of a thing a non living thing or maybe an animal or a bird all right it subjective it objective possessive its without an apostrophe i t s its and the last is they they means a group of people all right third person group of people where you are not a part of the group they subjective them objective theirs possessive now let's understand all these uh, kinds of pronouns subjective objective and possessive one by one okay let's master these number one subjective pronouns as the name goes subjective these pronouns work as the subject of a sentence that's why we call them subjective or uh, nominative or subject pronouns as they function as the subject of a sentence let's look at the examples so if i want to refer to me if i want to use a pronoun instead of uh, taking my own name i'll say i ashish is an amazing fighter i am an amazing fighter instead of taking my own name i'm going to use i personal pronoun i i am an amazing fighter v if you are uh, referring to a couple of people first person uh, instead of taking their names you're going to say v ashish monu and akshay are amazing friends v are amazing friends okay i'm not going to take everybody's name over and over again i'm going to use a personal pronoun v v are amazing friends we went to goa last night okay second person monu if i'm talking to monu i'm not going to say i love monu monu come here i'm going to say i love you you come here so instead of taking the name of the person i'm going to use you if it's just one person i'm going to use you even if it is more than one person i am still going to use you i'm not going to say uh, mr a mr b mr c mr d listen to me i'm going to say you listen to me all right 
Okay, third person, Akshay Kumar. If I'm talking about a third person, I'm not going to use that person's name over and over again. I'm going to use he to refer to that name. Akshay Kumar is an amazing fighter, is an amazing actor. Akshay Kumar has done a lot of films. No, Akshay Kumar is an amazing actor. He has done a lot of films. Tina, a name of a girl. Third person, if we're talking about Tina, okay, uh, the first time I'm going to use her name because we, we should know who we're talking about. Tina is my friend. She always helps me. Tina is my friend. She, who? Tina. She always helps me. Delhi, a name of a place. Uh, Delhi is my birthplace. It is a beautiful city. It is a beautiful city. It. Using it in place of Delhi. Third person, a group of people. Sonu, Sweetie and Gudu. Sonu, Sweetie and Gudu are my childhood friends. Sonu, Sweetie and Gudu love me a lot. Now, the second time, I'm going to use a personal pronoun. Sonu, Sweetie and Gudu are my childhood friends. They love me a lot because we already know who they are, what comes in they, okay? That's Sonu, Sweetie and Gudu. That's subjective pronouns, okay? Let's take some examples and understand how to use them. I love talking to you. I love talking to you. Instead of saying Ashish loves talking to you, I'm using a subjective pronoun, I. I love talking to you. Working as the subject of this sentence. Mangesh and I are brothers and we can die for each other. Mangesh and I are brothers or Mangesh and Ashish are brothers and we can die for each other. More than one person and I am included. So I'm going to use we. First person, we can die for each other. John loves you a lot and he can do anything for you. John loves you, an objective pronoun, a lot and he can do anything for you. He, who? John. John loves you a lot and he can do anything for you. He is the subject of this clause. He can do anything for you. He can do anything for you. Arushi is my school friend and she has always been there for me. Arushi is my school friend and she, who? Arushi. She has always been there for me. So she is uh, the subjective pronoun, is used as the subject of this clause. You always make the same mistakes. You always make the same mistakes. You. I'm not taking your name. I'm saying you. This could be just one person or more than one person. You always make the same mistake. Okay. I went to London last week. It is beautiful. I went to London, a name of a place. Last week, it is beautiful. It. What is it? London. It is beautiful. That's how we use subjective pronouns. These pronouns work as the subject of a sentence as you just have seen. Moving to the next one, which is an objective pronoun. Now, these pronouns, guys, work as the object of a verb or the object of a preposition. That means either it comes after a verb or it comes after a preposition. Okay. Look at these examples. Rahul loves Tina. Rahul loves Tina and she loves him too. She, subjective pronoun referring to Tina, loves whom? Him. That is Rahul. Objective pronoun him. He, him. She loves him. Some employees are unhappy. Let's call them. Some employees are unhappy. Employees are unhappy. Let's call them. Let's call whom? Them. Employees. Third person. Okay. Objective case. Let me show you more examples. Jyoti gifted me a beautiful picture on my last birthday. Jyoti gifted whom? Me. That's Ashish. Personal pronoun. I. Me. Mine. Objective pronoun, me. Object pronoun. Jyoti gifted me a beautiful picture on my last birthday. I, me, mine. Virat Kohli is a great cricketer and people love him. Virat Kohli is a great cricketer and people love him. Him is Virat Kohli. He, him. All right. You should talk to her. She is mad at you. You should talk to her. Referring to a name of a girl. But objective pronoun she her right you should talk to Rhea you should talk to her object of this preposition too you should talk to whom her she is mad at you you she is mad at uh, you Rahul at you working as the object of this preposition at why did the company fire them 
Why did the company fire them, a group of people? Instead of taking their names, we are using a pronoun. What kind of a pronoun? Objective pronoun as we have to use um, an object, right? Because fire is a verb. After this, we have to use an object. That could be a noun or a pronoun. We are using a pronoun, an objective pronoun. Why did the company fire Rahul and Sneha? Why did the company fire them? They, them. That's how we use objective pronouns. Okay. The last is possessive pronouns. Look at the name possessive. Possessive pronouns show the possession of a person. What a person owns or possesses. And these are mine, yours, his, hers, its, theirs, and ours. Let's take some examples and master this one as well. My job is fine, but yours is just awesome. My job is fine. My job is fine, but yours is just awesome. Yours is a possessive pronoun. It means your job. Yours what? Your job. See, what it's referring to is already mentioned. The noun it's referring to is showing the possession of is already mentioned. My job is fine, but yours. Yours what? Your job is just awesome. Okay, my job is fine, but yours is just awesome. If I simply say yours is just awesome, that won't make much sense to you. You might not understand what I mean. Yours what? So the noun it's referring to should be already mentioned before. Okay, my job is fine, but yours is just awesome. His parents are strict. His parents are strict, but mine are not. His parents are strict, but mine are not. Mine what? My parents. Mine, my parents, parents belonging to me. Parents belonging to me, my parents. I can use a possessive adjective here. Possessive adjective and a noun. My parents, all right? His parents are strict, but my parents are not. Instead of saying that, I can simply use a possessive pronoun. Mine are not. Way better. This book is his, don't touch it. This book is his, means his book. This is his book. His means his book. The noun that it's showing the possession of is already mentioned, which is book. This book is his. Don't touch us. His here is a possessive pronoun. Your office is big. It's big. But ours is huge. Ours what? Our office. Office is the noun that it's showing the possession of. So if you use a possessive pronoun, make sure... The noun it's showing the position of is already mentioned before. Your office is big, but ours is huge. Okay, that's how we use possessive pronouns. Now, one more important thing. Sometimes people get confused between possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So let's master them as well. What is the difference? See, possessive adjectives are my, our, your, his, her, and they. And possessive pronouns are my becomes mine, our, ours, your, yours, his remains his, her, hers, and their, theirs. So every uh, word changes except this, which is his. Now, how do we find out whether a word is a possessive adjective or a possessive pronoun? Simple. Possessive adjective is always followed by a noun. We use a noun after a possessive adjective. So if any of these words is followed by a noun, understand it's a possessive adjective. And if that word is not followed by any noun, that's a pronoun, possessive pronoun. And it looks different as well. Uh, except this, his, every word looks different. Okay, examples. This is my house. My house, my is a possessive adjective followed by a noun, my house. I can't say this is mine. Doesn't make any sense. My what? House. This house is mine. This house is mine. Mine, my house is a possessive pronoun. I don't like your plans, but his makes sense. I do not like your plans. Your what plans? Your possessive adjective followed by a noun plans, your plans. But his make sense. Now, after his, we're using a plural verb. How do we know whether we have to use a singular verb or a plural verb? For that, you have to look at the noun. It's showing the possession of. Plans is a plural noun. Plans is what this, this, uh, Possessive pronoun is referring to. So we have to use a plural verb. But his, his what? His plans, okay, make sense. Our group is small and theirs is huge. 
our group our possessive adjective followed by a noun group our group our is small doesn't make any sense our group is small and theirs is huge theirs what group their group is huge that's what the difference between a possessive adjective and a possessive pronoun is now one more important thing use of they as a singular pronoun now this is interesting see guys if the gender of a singular noun is unclear is not known to you you can use they as a singular pronoun to refer to that noun to replace that name of the person if you do not know whether that name is referring to a male or a female you can use they as a singular pronoun okay as a singular pronoun let me show you some examples if a customer faces any problem with the product if our customer singular noun faces any problem with the product they can return it within the first 10 days so our customer singular noun and i'm using they to replace it they they is a plural pronoun plural uh, personal pronoun but here it's not working as a plural personal pronoun it's working as a singular pronoun now why are we using they because we don't know the gender of this noun customer it could be a male or a female okay but still you can say if a customer faces any problem with the product he can return it within the first 10 days when you do it, it it's absolutely fine it's grammatically correct and you're going to get away with that nobody's going to question you but again you're being sexist when you're doing it what about the females how can you say it has to be a male and when you use she still you being a sexist what about the males so a beautiful solution to this is use they as a singular pronoun if a customer faces any problem with the product they can return it within the first 10 days they subjective pronoun okay if you have a special person in your life never leave them special person we don't know the gender of the person whether the person is a male or a female so we're going to use they them here as the objective pronoun they them theirs if you have a special person in your life never leave them never leave him never leave her both are correct but the better option is them as it doesn't make you a sexist okay one more important thing just just last very important what is the difference between these two sentences it was me it was i this is very confusing to a whole lot of people it was me who called you it is i who called you see here what comes after this linking verb is a subject complement and a subject complement has to be a noun or a subjective pronoun me is not a subjective pronoun it's not a noun in any way okay it was i i here is a subjective pronoun so technically grammatically we should be using i but the thing here is but but most people use me and people have been using me so in some way it has become acceptable right and people use it and people get away with that they shouldn't but that's how it is they do get away using me here grammatically i is correct but me is often used and nobody questions you so you can use me if you want to use i as well you can use i i is technically grammatically correct but if you use me as well that's fine either nobody is going to question you as as i just said it has become acceptable okay one more thing just just last okay that's your test you have to try this practice set okay these are some questions with the blanks you have to use the right pronoun that's your task for the day and that's all about today's lesson guys that was amazing i enjoyed this lesson a lot hope you did too hope you learned something new today if you did hit the like button if you guys are new to the channel make sure you subscribe to the channel press the notification button so that every single time i publish a lesson you get notified and you don't have to search for my lessons and if you have any questions any doubts do let me know in the comment section below and i will see you guys very soon till then keep learning have fun i love you all a lot you know this about namaskar